everyone, I'm Hasha Rekile. For this video, I'm going to discuss all about globalization. So we randomly hear this word, but sometimes we don't understand its meaning. So in this discussion, let us dig deeper the meaning of globalization. So I have here a laptop and I will do a video presentation. And since I don't have a monitor here in our house, so I'll just do a screen recording and I will put it here when I'm done. Globalization. So what is globalization in your own terms? We define globalization so differently. We have lots of ideas when we talk about globalization. But in this video, I'm going to discuss its meaning on how I understand them by sharing it to you. And at the same time, I am hoping that if this could help you to learn more about this work or this particular topic. So without further ado, let's begin. So globalization is when companies expand from one country to another. This means that it depends on the global market and other global businesses. This means that you source your product wherever it is more efficient and you will sell them wherever it is more profitable. We believe that globalization exists since communication began. There are also factors that have contributed to increase globalization. Number one is technology since technology is critical why because it allows information to flow very efficiently most especially that we are having nowadays our messenger not like the older days that people used notes or letters to communicate to other people nowadays we use phones gadgets technologies in order to communicate more efficiently and this is what enables business to coordinate resources in different places to generate products and services at a lower cost and also updated info on where to sell it. So that's the first factor that con contributed to increase globalization. So another one, we have here foster cooperation, growth, more open economics and new markets. So a relatively peaceful global environment that fosters cooperation, growth, more open economics, and new markets are more productive because there is a connection involved from different countries in your business. So that's what makes a globalization grow bigger and bigger as the time passes by. So fun fact! Did you know that Starbucks began as a single store in Seattle in 1971? And now, they are having more than 17,000 stores in more than 55 countries all over the world. In those times, they offered some of the world's finest fresh roasted whole bean coffees or the fresh beans or the original beans. But now, they sell different kinds of coffees, teas, ice cream, salad, smoothies, frappuccino, bakery, and yogurt. This varies depending on each country. Starbucks is a place for a conversation and a sense of community. So this business is just an example that there is a globalization that exists because this store that is from Seattle way back 1971 is now spreading even here in Philippines we have Starbucks but in Bohol I don't think that there is some or maybe there is some but I don't know where exactly but in Manila, Cebu there are a lot of Starbucks stores that you can visit and we observe that they are the fruit of globalization because they are trying to communicate from another place and do the business work. They think that it is more profitable in that place. So I think that will be all for this video. I hope that you understand the meaning of the globalization. And yeah, thank you so much and God bless.